Hello everyone, this is Neil with Voice Pulse. Uh, we've been getting a lot of folks asking how to configure a soft phone with our Managed Elastics Virtual PBX product. Uh, so I made this video to show you how easy it is. Uh, I'm going to focus on the X-Lite soft phone. Uh, X-Lite is a free soft phone product from Counterpath. Uh, they also have a commercial version called Bria. The settings in both of them are practically identical. So whether you're using X-Lite or you're using Bria, you can follow along with this video to know exactly what settings to use. If you're using a completely different soft phone, you should still follow along here. Most of the settings are going to be the same or at least very similar. Uh, so first I'll bring up my browser here to the Elastics Virtual PBX that I have. Uh, you can see we've set up a bunch of extensions on it. I'm going to use this one at 505 uh, to show off where you'll want to put all of these settings. Uh, so back in XLite, in the soft phone menu, go to account settings and it'll bring you to this screen. The account name's just for you. You can name that whatever you like. In Elastics and pretty much every asterisk based PBX, the user ID is going to be the same as your extension number. So you can see in the PBX I have extension 505. In the soft phone I have user ID 505. The next setting, the domain. If you set up a DNS name for your PBX, you can use that here. Or you can just plug in the IP address. You can see it's the same as what's in my address bar up here. The password, that's whatever you have defined as the secret in your extension right here. Uh, best thing is to copy and paste to make sure that you don't have any typos plug that into password. The rest of the settings really are optional. The only thing you need to make sure is that this checkbox, register with domain and receive calls, is checked. Otherwise, you'll be able to place outgoing calls, but you won't receive any calls. On the other hand, if that's exactly what you want, you can go ahead and uncheck that. One other setting I like to change under advanced is this re-register every. It defaults to 3600 seconds. And uh, what that means is that if you lose your internet connection, your laptop loses power, or you otherwise lose your ability to connect to the PBX unexpectedly, the PBX will still think that you're registered for this long. Uh, so I like to change that down to something more reasonable, like every five minutes it's going to check in with the server. So from there you just click OK. XLite will take a moment to connect to that account. And there you go. As long as you show your status is available here, you know that you're connected. Once you're connected, you can place a phone call and make sure that that call goes through. Thank you for calling Voice Pulse. To speak with a sales representative, press 1. And there we are. Now, setting up a uh, VoIP provider uh, like our open access calling plan that we have for residential users or any other voice over IP provider that supports soft phones, is really just as easy. Uh, so I'm going to show you an open access account settings screen here. And just like with the managed PBX account, uh, you're just filling in three settings, the user ID, domain, and password. Uh, so over here we copy the username into user ID. We copy the login server over to the domain and the password, of course, over to password. I'm going to leave that register setting at 300 seconds because I like that. Enabling account, account enabled. And again, you can place a phone call. Thank you for calling Voice Pulse to speak with a sales representative. And that's it. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.